What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at who your spirit guides are and messages that they may have for you. You can be pretty much anywhere in your soul journey and experience spirit guides, and that's through numerology. Some of you guys could be seeing the same numbers, um, the same words, certain messages every day. We're learning, especially in the year of 2020, that there has to be much more than what we thought. Your spirit guides are going to essentially be guiding you into fulfillment, into happiness. They are here and on your side for protection, for guidance, for reassurance, and also for self-knowledge. I was picking up a lot of self-knowledge and inner wisdom that your guides' spirit guides want you to know. So this is pretty much going to be a all-in-one who your spirit guides are and what messages they may have for you. If you guys are new to the channel, shout out to all of you guys. Welcome to the Tarot Tribe where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. Last but not least, if you guys are looking for any information, you can find that down below or follow me on Instagram at the Tarot Priest. I'm much more interactive with the things going on, such as the Soul Journey webinar that I'm doing once a month every last Sunday. So you guys can find all that information on my website, the Tarot Priest. Dot com and also down below in the description. All right, let's look at the decks that you guys have to choose from when it comes to who your spirit guides are. This is going to be the question that you're going to be asking as you are pondering on which deck is right for you. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see who your spirit guides are, what they want you to know, and the guidance they have in store for you. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in who your spirit guides are. Light activation. We have Sana Kumara. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but... I know very much about the light activation journey. So we have Ascension, Serapis, B or Bay, and Master Buddha. So this is a lot of awareness. Most of these guides here are here to create some type of awareness of more. So your spirit guides are here to guide you into Ascension which means finding and discovering your best version of yourself or your truest version. And obviously your best version is going to also result in a best fulfilling life. So a lot of the things that are happening in your life or currently could have happened were a lot of activating. So you could have gotten into a lot of new things and quit them, started again, maybe a lot of awareness with so many different things and people around you. I also feel like your guides are activating you to have a very keen sense of discernment with people and decisions in your life. So these spirit guides would help you better know people without even hearing them speak. You can feel their energy, know uh, who they are, what they represent, a lot of discernment that, that these guides would want to give to you. So it's a lot of inner voice guidance, which is intuition, your instincts, trusting more of those things. The morning awaits you. I also feel like your guides are here to kind of show you what more is possible, right? And this is more so of the awareness of possibilities. So they're gonna constantly be trying to motivate you to want more um, or experience more or learn more about things. So that could even be through traveling, through your dreams, through creating. Judgment, I look back with compassion for myself. These are the messages from your spirit guides. The magician yeah so your spirit guides are guiding you to becoming 
a manifester. Being able to experience the life that you dream of is part of their mission, is what I'm hearing. Also, very diligent in work. This is expansion. So some of you guys could have children, not all of you have to. I see with the judgment card, it's also just part of your purpose to discover your destiny. It's reminding me of the book, The Alchemist. Some of you could have listened to that or read that, but they're bringing me to that book. And it's more so of like enjoying the journey of discovering more things in the world and about yourself. So when it comes to manifesting, this is about creating a dream life. Page of Ariel, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work, reliable, educated, balanced, and clever. So with the Page of Ariel, whoever your guides are, are very focused also on creating a stable life for you. A stable life for yourself and foundation, but you're here to do much more, much, much more. I wish I could kind of sugarcoat or water down how amazing and great you're actually here to become. Um, but man, it's pretty obvious here. With Sarah Peace Bay, uh, you guys could have been, you know, uh, gravitating towards Egyptian things um, or interested in history events or historical events or philosophy. It could be any of those things. Um, or the curiosity to want to know more things is what I'm getting also. So let's look at this ascension because if your spirit guides are here to help you move into your true self, they're also around most of the time during your darkest times, your darkest moments, the times that you feel the most abandoned or the most lost, you still will always feel the presence is what they're saying. So you guys had three specific guides that came out and they're all almost like initiation cards, beginning cards. So you guys could be on the brink of a spiritual journey even right now. And it's everything that's happening is meant to happen. It's so divine. You couldn't stop it if you tried. It's just divinely what you're here to do is uh, manifest perfectly what you desire, what you desire. Okay, so manifesting means that you have these thoughts and ideas and dreams about something that you want to experience, but to manifest in order to actually experience it here on earth, it has to be tangible. It has to be a physical thing. Okay, so the thought becomes the thing. It's the process of manifestation. So you're here to learn these things. Why is the Saint Kumara, Kumara light activation card here? Yeah, I also feel like you're here, your spirit guides are here to help you overcome doubt and to compose hope, to harness hope. This is a very spiritual journey. And I feel like some of you guys, what I'm hearing is your spirit guides do not want you to overexert yourself in this spiritual thing. It's really just getting in tune with your heart and your soul. Don't overcomplicate it. Just focusing on what your heart wants because I'm feeling like your entire journey here on earth is going to be an activation process. Okay, so we have Knight of Swords. I choose my battles carefully. And then we also have the King of Michael. Principled, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So this is, again, something that your guides would want you to communicate, okay? Again, this is a pretty enlightened deck. So that's why things are getting deep. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Divine guidance, the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. So those of you who clicked on this deck, you're in the right place at the right time. I teach this a lot. The judgment card is so heavy when it comes to spirituality. Then we also have the star card. It's the same card that's behind me. It's the, the card of hope. 
And so a lot of the things that you're here to experience is going to put you in places that force you to have to have hope and more belief in yourself and your capabilities. Great and full. So not grateful, but great and full. This is amazing. So you are here to do great, great things. <laughs> great, great things. And you may have even been going between the other angel, those of you who were. It's just different stages in your life, but I'm seeing that you have at least three spirit guides that are constantly guiding you into light and constantly communicating through instinct. So when you feel like something is off and you're like, oh, I don't know, those are your spirit guides, okay? In the sense of allowing you to, to have awareness. I also feel like deck number one, this has a lot to do with peace, trusting your inner voice, trusting your instincts. Some of you things happen and you're like, oh, I knew that was gonna happen, but you didn't make the move necessary for that happening to benefit you. So. All of this is coming from a place of your internal self. With the divine guidance, this is the Hierophant. This is also Taurus energy. This is all about your beliefs spiritually and what you're here to achieve. The more you learn, the more you question, the more you will get in touch with these guides, okay? One of your guides is definitely heavily connected to Egyptian culture or Egyptian background. And that's, as you guys see, I have a lot of this Egyptian culture things up here. That's because I've been really heavily inspired by that. And then also with the light activation, we know that you are here to shine your light, meaning that you may find yourself even sharing joy in people's life or sharing happiness or sharing peace in others' lives. Divine Matrix 44. We have a, first of all, if you guys chose this deck, four is a huge number, okay? 444, four, four. I've been seeing that all around, but we have it 44, and now we have 44. Four. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that nothing is by coincidence. When you pay attention and you can see things happening and you get out of the place of feeling like, okay, is this just a coincidence? But understanding like, no, there's much more to life. That's exactly what your guides are here to get you to see is the much more in life, the deeper connection then that's again what the divine matrix is about. All right, let's see what this card says. It's time to release negativity. We have Scorpio energy on the board. We have Aquarius energy. We have Taurus. Also, this is um, a lot of Buddha mechanisms here. So that may help you, the meditation, the understanding that you're not your thoughts, the ego, the spirit, that's gonna serve you very well. So I do feel like Buddha is one of your spirit guides or master guides. Some of you could be drawn to these people. So with the master Buddha, it's all about mastering awareness. And this awareness comes to understanding that we are not our thoughts, but we are the observer. With the Serapis Bay, this is also a god of wisdom, a god of insight, a god of intellect and knowledge that comes from ancient times. So we have a lot of wisdom, awareness, and then also this light activation card comes to shine light on the things that are not true. And so this is also about wisdom, but insight of the things that are not true, but are of the matrix construct the beliefs that we've chosen to adopt so without getting too deep i mean these are what your spirit guides are definitely here to do they're not they're definitely not playing around they're definitely not playing around okay so give me one card for sanat kumar message from message from sanat kumar to the viewer We have the world, okay? So this is all about the new cycles, the new beginnings. Um, and I do feel like 2021 will be an activation year for a lot of you. Your spirit guides are saying with this light activation card. So this is the 21 card, but not only that, it's a new beginning and a new cycle. So this spirit guide comes to bring you wisdom on how to start new beginnings in your life, especially with the magician here, the one. 
Syracuse Bay, message from Syracuse Bay to the to the viewer. Message from Syracuse Bay. To the thank you. Ten of Swords. So in order to move into your true self, you must rise above the darkness with the Ten of Swords. This is mostly in your mind. I'm seeing your thoughts. The way that they're on this pattern, this loop, it's breaking that. That's going to help you move into your true self. So the light is very important to you guys. So light workers, anything that has to do with the light, meaning love or the truth is what I like to see as shedding the light. If we come in there and we shed the light on something, it's like, okay, we can see clearly what the truth is. It's because we shine the light. So that has a lot to do with your purpose and your soul journey here. And a lot of the things that you experience is that the light is here, the truth is here. You can rise above these dark thoughts and beliefs that are not true. That's not the light. So the light is going to be that inner voice within you. It's that, yeah, the inner voice, that deeper connection. Message from Master Buddha to the viewer. So I do see that some opportunities are definitely on the horizons that your spirit guides want you to know. We have the page of Ariel. We have lots of opportunity. The more that you rise above, it's like you're going to different levels. And I would say obviously four is a big deal. So when 444 comes up, it is also just a reminder of paying attention to that moment. What, what's happening when you see it? We have Pisces energy here, the moon. This is a message from Master Buddha. Yes, the moon represents everything that we cannot see. But the moon is still so bright. That's why we're able to see even in the dark is because the moon is there. However, the moon is in reverse, which tells me that your spirit guides are going to be the one, Master Buddha is gonna be the one to show you a deeper meaning to things. When you take yourself out of the story and you're able to actually hear both sides, then the truth is what's going to be the result. You must hear both sides. This is everything. This is what awareness is all about. Awareness so that we can find the truth. So this is a very heavy spiritual deck. Um, for sure, it's beautiful. We have peaceful resolution. So something is going to come to some type of peaceful resolution your card of guidance protect your dreams you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them this was something i've learned as well which is why many of my projects are yet to be even released and i'm so excited and i get anxious which is why i'm bad at surprises but as far as the protecting your dreams it's more of just having discernment and, and protecting the energy of the project that you're doing. You know, people will have their opinions that comes in and then it turns the whole entire vision and that could change everything if you just tweak something so small because of an opinion of others. So protecting your dreams is just keeping them safe, keeping them close to you until you get everything you can out of that and then presenting it to others. But allow it some time to breathe and allow it some time to be nurtured so that we don't have that extra pressure. Also messages from your guides is manifestation twice, okay? So remembering that you're here for much more than the matrix, which is just the day-to-day -day basis, the same days, um, the same schedule, waking up, doing the same thing. That would be a matrix. Groundhog Day is a great representation of that. The Truman Show is an even better movie. Um, the Manifestation and the Trust the Universe. So your guides give you so much wisdom and insight. These guides give you insight that people would say, how did you know that? How, how would you know that? This is an intuitive gift that you have of discernment. But really with the judgment card here, this is heavily about a new journey in your life and creating and constantly elevating in your life. So not feeling like, okay, I let go of that. I released that. I'm done with that. There's layers of this journey layers. So trust the universe, infinite possibilities. 
So the spirit animal that I chose for your spirit guides was the unicorn and the whale. Adventure and infinite possibilities. So that awareness earlier that I was mentioning to you is going to be an awareness of more possibilities that bring more fulfillment. It's like saying that if you grow up in the same house all your life, you will think it's the biggest house until you are in another home that's bigger. You must see more to believe more, but what you're learning is to believe more so that you can see more. That's where the infinite potential is coming from, the unicorn. You are the sovereign of the seen and the unseen world. So the unseen represents everything unknown. It's the, the question that we all have how how is this going to happen here's my dream here's where i'm at how well that's what your guides are here to help you do give you that awareness and also guide you by you following the light remember what i said the light was love and truth following those things even in your life so the magic of love surrounds you beauty transforms you listen to the spirits of light abandon the darkness it's in the darkest places that we find ourselves S seriously. And those are the unseen worlds that we couldn't predict the curveballs in our lives. So go beyond the ordinary and become legendary. So your guides from what we know, just these three for this short reading are here to guide you into becoming legendary. So if you feel like you've been through a lot, just know that that's because you're becoming legendary and only someone who has conquered the impossible can become legendary it's simply the case we think about all of the greats in the world and they did things that we could never expect last but not least the guidance from these guides currently in your life doesn't matter what time it is right now is to daydream you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. That's again, the awareness. All three of them are almost, I would say, in pretty good synchronicity. They all represent things that are very parallel to one another. So directing your thoughts, meaning not controlling, but just allowing them to come and go. Notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Maybe that's why I was giving away so many movies. This is the seat of creativity. So you are here to create your dreams so that you can experience them here. So it's like, yes, you can daydream, you can dream all day long, but at some point you're going to want to experience the dream and that's where the manifestation process comes in. So your guides, they're pretty dope. They, I'm not going to lie. They are warriors. And I definitely feel like you have them with you through some of the most deepest, darkest moments of your life, especially when it comes to discovering more about yourself and trying to rise above and become better. So if you guys chose deck number one, I'm very interested in hearing what you guys have to say about your spirit guides. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. I hope you're doing okay amidst everything going on, sending you love and light your way. On to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and who your spirit guides are and what they would want you to know. Who are the spirit guides of deck number two? The Miriam and Faith. Well, ironically, both are said to be connected to a twin flame connection or a relationship. So you may find that a lot of your growth comes through relationships or love or commitments. Your both of your spirit guides embody the beloved idea meaning they believe that love conquers everything so your guides will constantly remind you to handle situations better or how you can see it from a place of love that you can trust that there's good in everyone 
your guides come to calm you down basically especially faith she comes to calm you down and let you know that you know it's not worth it getting into your temper um or getting into your thoughts stay calm allow things to process now she's said to be the twin flame of archangel michael which you guys do have here as well so i do feel that archangel michael could also be very prevalent in the guidance of spirituality in your life so this has to do with a lot of love prosperity lies ahead these are messages that they would want you to know gold you don't need someone else to fix you so they come to bring healing in your life they come to heal also if you guys experience or have experienced loss through tragedy death or anything of the sense of grieving or grievance these are also highly involved with helping you grieve and let go and heal so basically your guides come to tell you and remind you that there's nothing wrong with you and that you don't need anyone else to fix you forgiveness yeah so this has a lot to do with the things in the base chakra your foundation or the base and foundation of all the chakras. This is all about your relationships. A lot of your life influence comes from love and the experience of people, being with people, having family, having friends. And so a lot of you uh, are being guided to build a solid foundation. Temptation. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit, perhaps one that makes you feel guilty? This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it is. So you also have the fairy that helps you overcome temptation. It doesn't have to be a bad temptation. I'm hearing it could just be like enabling people or helping people when you know you shouldn't. They also want you to keep your composure. So lots of calmness, lots of peace. You know, people are ignorant and they do ignorant things. They say ignorant things, but you're learning how to keep your composure because it's not worth it. We know that in the moment, we're just like, that's the thing with anger. It's it's actually very low on the frequency chart. It drains us faster than many other emotions and energy. And I feel that once you're in it, you're just, you're amped up. It feels like you have power. You can be throwing things, you can be upset, or you could just be angry or frustrated and it gets you into a place of tensity. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic, but this place brings you very low, very down. And so love is actually at the highest, one of the highest frequencies when it comes to measurement of energy. And so they're saying it may feel good in the moment, but once we're done, we always start thinking about, should we have done that? Is there anything that, or trying to justify whatever it is, they're saying that just keep your composure so that you don't have to go through that. So some people could just simply be tempting you or have tempted you in your life. Again, the reason being is because people need the most love. So the reason why your spirit guides are here is to help remind you that it's about the good and everyone is good. Their true self, everyone's spirit is good. Ease and grace, yeah. So you're asked to be delicate. What is it, sting like a bee, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? you know, leave with kindness, just leave like a, like a dove when situations happen, not taking things seriously. Your guides are definitely here to encourage you to play more, to not overthink things, to not be worried. And again, some of you guys who have felt like you have a twin flame relationship, I also feel with both of these twins and obviously the sacred vision I feel that the healing and the forgiveness definitely could be the key to your happiness. I'm hearing that for some reason. Let's see what message Miriam has for the one watching. Miriam, one card. Message for the person watching, Miriam, the man. Knight of Cups. So yeah, this is definitely relationships. They're saying not to worry about love. The one will come. 
if you have it, even if you do have a partner and you're worried if they're the one or whatever the worry is, there is no need to worry when it comes to that. That will be the cherry on top to all of the things that you've done. Now, what I mean by the things you've done is all of the forgiveness, all of the letting go, all of the being the bigger person. You know how you're the bigger person, but you never, no one ever recognizes it. And so they're saying, we do, we recognize it. And you're already perfect in your perfect version of yourself. Your greatest version of yourself is going to be the perfect version. So someone else doesn't need to fix you. There's nothing wrong with you. You are not broken. We are not broke. Our thought process, our minds, other than that, our spirit can never be broken. Your spirit can never be broken. So it says, inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom and go with the flow, not overthinking things. Message from Miriam confirming the Knight of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah. So some of you will have justice in love. So basically letting go, releasing all the things you've had, you will find justice in love in the near future. So that's what you're trusting on. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. Remember love has no boundaries. So you're learning unconditional love. Unconditional love means very simply, no matter what, I love you. It doesn't matter what that person does. Now, obviously, we're not talking about serious, serious abuse here, but that's, you know, some sometimes that's the case because, again, it's unconditional. So you love them no matter what. So you're here and your guides are here to help you learn unconditional love because what it's going to do is unconditional love is like the water and it's just flowing. And as it flows through your body, it just begins to heal and purify these things within you. That's the light. That's the love within you. So this is what's going to ultimately heal any situation in your life. And that's why they keep trying to give it to you. They're like, here, try love. Someone pisses you off. They're like, here, try love. That's literally faith. You know, man, it's love. You know, that's definitely what I'm getting. And I'm just, I'm smiling because it's like, what? They're showing me is it reminds me of the progressive lady, the insurance lady, but they're saying like love has no, there's no insurance. It's just, you know, yes, uncomprehendable. So why is faith here and what does she have to say? Three of cups. Why is faith here and what does she have to say? Knight of pentacles. One more card. So there will be many things that tempt you many many things that tempt you off your course many people many things many circumstances sometimes it's even ourselves but it's all to get us into alignment what is alignment a place where we are following our soul and our heart and everything falls into place so i definitely feel like your guides are also saying that love even is beneficial for your career because we have prosperity lies the Knight of Pentacles, it's the more value you give to people, the more abundance that will come to you, the more money you will make. Let's just keep it real. The more you're able to help people from a place of love, you know, caring about their situation. Imagine if customer service had the <laughs> spirit guide of faith and actually fell through with everything faith would say, like we would have the best customer service that would really care about people. So really caring about people and having this ease and grace and this love and seeing the good in everyone allows you to even become more of a visionary to prosperity in your life. Taurus is energy is here. One more for prosperity for this deck and what the guides have to say about it. What do the guides have to say about prosperity? It's definitely in the cards I'm hearing. Ten of Wands, but things would have to end energetically. The things that are causing you the most distraught would have to, again, it's always layers and layers of releasing that we go through. It's never just like, oh, we released everything, everything's cool. But these certain cycles around prosperity, it's like have a loving relationship with money also. So 
The more you love money, the more money will flow to you effortlessly. It's not a love of greed. That's the issue. Do people have that? Absolutely. But when you have a loving relationship with your finances, it flows even more abundantly. So a lot of these cycles, um, they're saying heal your financial financial constraints with love, with care. Care more about how you spend, where you put it. See it as a resource, as a bonus. Okay, so Ace of Wands. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing is that some of you, your guides are going to get you to a place where there's a new spark of interest in your prosperity and in your financial career. So there will be a new project that will allow you to have compassion for what it is that you're doing. You'll love to do it and people will recognize that. They'll think you're the best at it simply because you enjoy it. So we have the Knight of Cups twice here. I know that the person, I know that the right person waits until I am ready. I know that the right person waits until I am ready. Meaning you're not gonna miss out on the right person. The right person will also allow you patience to take the time to find yourself. And then I manifest multiple opportunities. So they're saying not to just look in one place for financial income, look in many places. You will manifest multiple things. Whatever I decide, I trust the outcome. This is a lot of trusting the universe, not having expectations on relationships or people. This will allow you to free yourself from them. We also have Libra energy in the reverse. We have justice. I speak my truth and fairness to myself. You're learning how to speak more of how you feel with keeping composure and doing it with ease and grace. More people will receive it. And, you know, everyone receives differently and there's so many people and there's billions of different perspectives. Literally, all of you see me differently and I'm just one person and I'm interested. I would be interested in seeing whose perspective is actually correct. However, how people perceive you is how they perceive you. You have to still speak truth and fairness to yourself. This is something that will bring you justice in much Forgiveness and understanding and trusting yourself. Trusting yourself. I'm hearing a lot of that. Your spirit guides are leading you and saying, here, take this, love. Speaking up more is also going to bring more financial income in. Four of Ariel, this is actually what I was talking about, about finances. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save and spend money. I was literally just saying with love, spending your money with love, caring about your money with love. So getting more invested in how you feel about it. Three of Gabriel, prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. So some of you guys, your guides are saying it's now time to take the next step. You've done the planning, you know what you want, now it's time to take action optimistic plans that turn out as expected some of you will be surprised at the turnaround of some of these things that you speak up on that your guides are encouraging you to do it doesn't matter what it is you know be and swim in the happy joy of living this is almost like a, a peaceful place of being able to just be an experience without having to overthink it or worry about something so your guides are constantly, constantly reminding you of love. Knight of Gabriel, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic, time to take action, exactly. Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. So you ha will have the instinct given to you by your guides to know exactly what to do or which action to take, where, and it will be something that makes you very happy. You will love it. Seven of Ariel, you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So before I get into that, I want to see why there's a connection with your money, finances, abundance. Messages around their finances from their spirit guides. 
Okay. So your guides are going to be the ones that are giving you the, the instincts and the excitement, the inspirational feeling, that, that loving feeling of fulfillment. So you'll, again, it doesn't matter if you're listening to a song, watching a movie and something inspires you. It's what about that inspires you. Your guides are also giving you um, the light in certain situations. So they're constantly reminding you that your dreams are within reach. So even when you're in your darkest places or you're hurt and you're vulnerable um, and you're going through some of these things or have been in your life, your guides are always there with love, mending your broken heart in a sense. Those things that have disappointed you or maybe those doors that didn't open, it's all for a reason. They're all guiding you to fulfillment, something that brings you more love, that makes you more happy. Messages from your spirit guides is that they are going to want you to reach for the world. Okay, we have endless possibilities. So these are again messages and what your spirit guides are here to do. They're here to, wow, you guys encompass a very um, empathetic feeling. So empathy, empathic ability to feel when something's wrong in the world or feel the weight of the world or feel the pain of the world. You are definitely an empath and I feel like you may even have dreams about certain people. You're definitely connected to some sort of dream. You could have been more so when you were a child, but again, those of you who have chosen this deck, this would just be a reminder to open back up more to the universe or something um, that you feel like resonates with you. Endless possibilities, again, they're going to constantly promote you to go after possibilities that continuously surprise you. Boop, opportunity, boop, prosperity, boop, happiness, joy. So not taking it so seriously, having more fun. Your guides are definitely here to, to, to show you that we have abundance. So the spirit animals we pulled for these spirit guides were the dolphin, and abundance so we have the dolphin and abundance sacred buffalo cloak me in your wisdom keep me warm through the storms of life fill my life with goodness teach me the way of gratitude and prayer so again this is something it's interesting because we have you know girls and they're just so delicate but they embody the energy of a bison and this is a very very strong animal and so it's like don't get it twisted we're here for love but you know don't pull me down to the playground and that's what this is it's like constantly aligning yourself with okay what am i going to get out of this let me just be love spread love this person may just not get it so you're almost like being forced to be the bigger person at times and so you definitely have an empathic ability and so a lot of your strength comes from your kindness and your vulnerability and your love that's given to you by your guides. It's very easy to destroy things, to break things, to you know not be vulnerable. It takes strength and great courage to be vulnerable and open and sensitive or willing to express yourself and so not they're saying not to see it as a weakness but more so focus on the gift and the ability that you do have and use it for your advantage use it to feel when good decisions are there when opportunities are near feel more and think less overall card of guidance release and surrender we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've held so tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands and arms and heart to our love and assistance. So they're here to help, but it takes a lot to react differently, to try something differently, to try something new. It takes courage. And I do think that it also takes bravery. So I'm feeling like you guys are doing an amazing job. You've come very far and your guides are the Miriam faith and also i want to say archangel michael simply because they are all connected and again these people these entities spirits are going to constantly surround you with love even if you are not feeling it you will always know the presence is there so if you guys chose deck number two this is your reading and who are your guides and what they would want you to know i hope this bless your guys's soul and spirit don't forget to comment down below moving on to deck number three
All right, you guys, show us deck number three. This is your reading. And who are your spirit guides and what they would want you to know? All right, so we have Kalima facing fear and Mary Magdalene. So Kalima is also known as the goddess of death and rebirth. And Mary Magdalene is said to be connected to Jesus. So it doesn't really matter what your beliefs are. I'm going to be looking at it from a higher perspective of what this feels like they're saying to me. Now with the Kalima card here, I feel as if your spiritual guides are heavily connected to love. Both of them have something to share. So let's look at Kalima and see she's also a Hindu god. What message she would have in store for you, specifically for Kalima? Any card for the viewer? For the viewer. What does she have to know? She's definitely coming to give you much more confidence and courage. And Mary, what would she want them to know? And also giving you a voice to speak up from Mary Magdalene. It's interesting the perspective uh, that people have of you because I'm feeling like with Kalima, some things could intimidate you, but it's something within you that's always facing fears or facing your fears. So she comes to give you much more courage. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy, and now we have five of pentacles. This is also around fear with money, fear of lack, fear of not having enough. She comes to, to remind you to follow love even in your financial situations. That fear is not real. And in fact, we believe that fear is false evidence appearing real. It's not real, it's just projected. So even with your financial situation, I'm hearing very strongly, anything else from Kalima is major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So it's like if you lost something or something is happening in your life, she comes to bring opportunity in the loss as well, like facing your fear, fear by saying this is your chance to soar. This is your chance to conquer. It's crazy because the way she's putting it is that certain circumstances in your life that bring you fear actually help you overcome them by facing them. So they will appear, basically is what she's saying. Ten of Swords, so endings may feel like they're happening, but while it's in ending, she's saying also throw your fears in that ending, throw your doubts, throw your disbeliefs, all of those things, throw that away as well. So constantly different layers around financial situations and having faith that something more will come. Some of you also will have a story to tell. So you'll have much more courage to be yourself and, and to share certain things about yourself that maybe you didn't think was possible. I also feel like with temperance, let's just clarify that it's a heavy spiritual card for Mary Magdalene. I feel like this is something that you will also share with others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Deck number three. This is a dope deck. Love it, love it. We have temperance and high priestess. So this is what you're here to also achieve is true spirituality, okay? Spiritually being free, okay? This isn't religion. This is alignment with love, just not to overcomplicate it, but following that method. I also feel like some of you have the gift of clairvoyance. That gift comes from Mary. Depending on whether or not you've seen things as a child, felt things as a child, um, those feelings could still be there, but they're dormant because you could have just closed that door. But some of you, I'm seeing that you could be in tune already with this ability. This ability gives you understanding of self. You will figure out a lot of things that will help people, a lot of self-discovery. And even if you feel like you don't have something important to say, you do. That's something else that you're getting is the courage, the solar plexus chakra. They keep showing me that, the yellow, the courage to, to say what you want to say, the courage to speak your truth, the courage to wonder, to question. Hell, I don't know. Maybe you're in that place. I don't know what to believe or what makes me feel like it's true or not. And even in that space, it allows you to be open to understanding more things. So I take great care of what I value, Seven of Swords. So I will heal myself, Five of Swords. A lot of mental conflict that is here. 
eight of pentacles i dedicate myself to what i believe in nine of wands i am strong for as long as i need to be strong so they're giving you strength even mentally strength to enjoy yourself and not to feel guilty also i'm hearing for some of you guys even in this time whatever space you're in right now there's a lot of mental conflict so the messages that they're giving you from these specific guides in your life guiding you is to be open to receiving as much as you're giving to others i do feel like they're trying to get you to a path of more uh more money and more finances but you're overthinking some of these things so it's necessary for you to face these fears so that you can overcome them and have more abundance in your life so manifestation is definitely a part of that process we have the magician number one you can manifest the life you want you need and what you will need is You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Kind, understanding, giving, and a psychic. Follow your heart. That's the first step of the spiritual journey that they're taking you through. Is what do you love? Follow your heart. What feels good? A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. So these people and these spirit guides are also guiding you through fears of loneliness or being alone or feeling like maybe you won't, will not have people to connect with home and family is definitely something here that you're creating for yourself and some some things i'm hearing also is that it may not be with people who are biological you may find more of a soul tribe person friend stranger to know you more than the people who are biologically related to you so i am seeing that you guys are definitely here to find a soul tribe a sacred reverence and the storyteller so if you guys did the 2021 reading and you guys got the same storyteller for those of you this is definitely your deck you're very close to achieving your goal so some of you have come a long way of facing a lot of these fears changing a lot of the ways that you see certain things let's see why the page of pentacles is here some of you are going to be starting all over. It's going to feel like you're starting all over with finances, but it's not. You've learned everything you needed to learn with certain uh, careers and jobs, and there will be an opportunity on the horizon. So every fear is, is coming from a place of disbelief or not believing that you will have enough. So it's like every, almost every fear of your financial situation and career, because I'm seeing that there's much, 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 much more for you financially is just a root of lack believing that you will not have enough believing that you will um, not make it believing that you won't survive so a lot of this is fears that you're going through so when you see everything in your ha life happening and it seems like it's falling apart remember that these are fears that are being presented to you why are they being presented because you cannot live with these fears so your spirit guides are saying every single time something comes up, it's a new fear that's generated. And the more you remove these fears, and how do you remove them? You work with them one by one to ask yourself in true belief if it's true what you're choosing to believe. All of these things that I'm saying is just me teaching you, which you will teach others. And that's why the teacher awakens. So a lot of you are going to have these discoveries and revelations in life, and you're going to be like, wow. Uh, I just, I don't know how to keep this to myself. I need to tell people that making money and living an amazing life of happiness and joy is much easier than they thought. So you guys will teach you, teach people a lot of different things, um, but there's so many different places of your life that you're learning that is going to come together in due time so that you can help other people through this. So the teacher is not like a traditional teacher. I don't want you to feel like this is like a teacher teacher it doesn't have to be phoenix how's that for a happily ever after it's crazy because the theme for this soul journey webinar october 25th and it will be on video demand so if you guys can't catch it and you're in this deck that's what we talk about literally living happily ever after it's possible <laughs> it's possible to be really happy for more than two days that do not have to do with holidays 
And so this happiness and euphoria, it's like you guys are rising from so many ashes and it's only going to be in your heart to want to share how you did it, how to avoid certain things, because you will want to teach others how to face their fears. So your spirit guides are definitely strong, independent people who are not afraid to stand up for what they believe in. Improving health. So a lot of this could be taking a toll on your body, the mental construct, okay? We have the Queen of Raphael and the Queen of Ariel. Interestingly enough, this is the cups and the finances. So this is your emotions and your financial situation that is coming up very heavily on the board. So improving health is here. Let's just see what's going on with that for deck three. Spirit guides, what's the message for this health card? Thank you. Six of wands, okay. The joy, the happiness that you will have in your life is also going to help improve your health. Some of you could be Reiki healers, Reiki teachers wanting to get into healing, wanting to help people heal. You may not even know what it's called yet. And that's because you're on the brink of pioneering this category. These are different new modalities that are coming up and different methods of healing every single year. And so you may just be a part of that creation. And I'm seeing with the Six of Wands, the, the health is coming from being out of alignment. And if you ever do experience health issues, that's what it's coming from. It's just simply being out of alignment with where you feel you should be. Power and intention. Know what you're doing this for. Where are we all going? Has anyone ever thought to ask, where are we all going? You ever just see people running, rushing, pushing people? It's like, where are we all going? Around and around. <laughs> January, December, we're just... So at some point, there's never going to be a time that it stops unless you take that time, meditate, get back in it. So you're becoming much more accepting of yourself and who you are but not just self-acceptance of oh i love myself i love my hair i love everything i love how tall i am this is about also the acceptance of the power that you have accepting that you're great that you actually have the power to create this reality that you want to enjoy so perseverance these are the spirit animals of your guides so again, Kalima and Mary Magdalene. So this is about perseverance. They are saying you have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up, good luck will follow. Okay, they also encompass an old soul energy. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. That's how intuition becomes practical. Where should I go next? Should I relocate? Should I stay? Should I stay at this job? Do I desire to meet new people? Whatever that is, follow your intuition to take you where you want to go and awaken the powerful force within you. That's the acceptance that you're the phoenix, meaning you rise from every occasion. So it's the greatness within you. Okay. And the fact that, you know, maybe sometimes you don't feel as strong, but you are and you're here so you are strong enough so that's something that i'm hearing too and you will not break awaken to the powerful force within you you are meant to create blessings with your magic so you do have a gift of clairvoyance i'm seeing that once you and i feel like you guys already are it's not that you're not but your spirit guides are showing you that you're on the right pathway more is going to be revealed in due time. There's always more levels to experience. We also have pure intention. The fairy of manifestation is also someone in, that is here that is guiding you as a spirit guide. So the fairy of manifestation comes to you, right? This is a guide. This guide comes to you and says, okay, what do you want? And if you say, I don't know, just know that that is a pause in your manifestation process. The more you know, the more you will create. 
The more you don't know, the more you will not be able to create those stages of manifestation. So when you're thinking, you're also kind of like painting at the same time. I know that sounds crazy, but this manifestation fairy comes to you and says, you need to know what you want so that you can manifest it. So again, not worrying so much about the fears of what can happen, but focusing on what you want to happen is also where your guides come. It says the fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely, manifest your heart's desire with pure intention for the highest good of all. So the more that we don't know, the less we're able to manifest it. What's the last word of advice for this pure intention card for deck three? Thank you. Seven of swords, two of cups. Some of you definitely have a counterpart. Um, your guides want you to know. And again, a soul tribe. You will make many connections. I'm feeling like your guides have guided you through the discernment of choosing what's false from what's true, even in your friendships. True friendships and true connections of your soul tribe. You will be able to be yourself entirely. You will be able to be vulnerable. You will not have to hide yourself or hide who you are. You will be able to share everything within yourself versus the people who say they care um, but behind your back, maybe they don't. I'm just seeing that there's there's been a lot of fear of just maybe people hurting you or things not going right or things never happening. Like I'll always be this way or I'll always experience this. That always is something that they keep pointing out to me. So with the Seven of Swords, that's the betrayal card. The Two of Cups, this is the soulmate. So you're, you have the gift of clairvoyance. You can say, spirit, Show me what I need to see about this person in a dream and see what your spirit guides have to say. See how that connection is flowing because I'm definitely feeling like your guides are leading you towards your soul tribe and soul mates relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows you from there to attract, heal or balance a relationship. Get closer to your loving creator as you feel safe and loved within so shall all your relationships bloom and prosper. So universe, God, whatever you choose to call it, source, that connection is the very beginning to so much. And so they're taking you through a lot of curiosity and it's good. Your guides are wanting you to start questioning, wanting you to start getting closer to the communication so that you do not have to do it alone. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. I hope that this blessed your spirit and soul. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading. And who are your spirit guides? So let me just tell you guys, you have a very, very heavy spiritual deck. I seen one of your spirit guides come out earlier and I knew right away that this was going to be a pretty beautiful reading. So we first have your spirit guides in formation. We have Malchizedek, which is higher learning in Odin. So Malchizedek is all about bringing people back to love and harmony, back to the start of everything. But this also comes from a place of higher learning. In fact, both of these spirit guides will communicate through symbolism ancient symmetry, geometry, astrology in various different ways. Interestingly enough, Odin actually, he only has one eye because he has said to carve out one of his eyes so that he can rely more on his third eye and less of his physical eye so that he could understand more of the mystics of the world. He felt that the eyes were a distraction from being able to see the truth in many things. And so Odin, comes as a spirit guide to inform you that you have psychic ability from the third eye. You're able to see past what you see, taste, touch, hear, or smell, those five senses. And so your third eye is opening, whether it's open or not. You can also YouTube various videos on your third eye, but also seeing the truth for what it is so that you can follow more of your intuition and less of what you see. They're also bringing you to that movie, The Book of Eli, where he relied solely on his sight if you've seen it, watch it again. You have learned from many experience, but more inner study is now required. So this is more about 
yourself, the truth, your purpose, those things. And so very, very spiritual decks and very spiritual spirit gods. We have the mystic. Yes, like I said, very, very esoteric. So this is astrology. You may be into tarot more than ever. You may want to read. If you haven't already, check out the Tarot Priest Academy where we're learning things just like this. Higher learning of self, connecting with source um, for the purpose of enlightenment and using tarot to find fulfillment, not just predictions. And Odin also comes to remind you that it's okay to see the future. Remember, intuitives are able to see things before they happen because they have this insight of knowing. And that's because, again, time doesn't exist. I know this is crazy. I know, I know. Time doesn't exist. So it's like to be able to peek into the future, the past, it's all one linear. So you're able to do that. Everyone has this ability, but even more so, so do you. That's what your guides are here to show you is that there's a bigger picture. There's a bigger purpose. There's a bigger purpose. Rely more on your insight, your intuition than your own thoughts. Even they come to say that beautiful uncaging. So they're coming to also bring freedom to you so that you can explore many more things. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity or hardships in your life. Take time to rest, dream and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. So this is priest-like energy. If you guys chose this deck, your guides were highly involved in a spiritual aspect of mysteries of the world. So they were not satisfied with just the earthly things. They wanted to uh, see more. They knew that there was more to the light. They knew that there was more than what we even knew. And so you carry that same shaman within. You carry a lot of wisdom and old soul energy that comes from them we also have in perfect harmony so you may experience a lot of things that feel like they're falling apart could be with people around you jobs career doesn't matter but 11 11 is here 11 and we know that what that means is that it's a start to something but it also represents harmony they're symmetrical both one so when 11 11 comes it means perfect harmony for you in that moment but always pay attention to what is happening in the moment because i'm feeling that your spirit guides communicate heavily through symbolism and also different things that are not very easy to distinguish so they communicate with things that may not seem very obvious emotions are running high helpful people all right let's see why emotions are running and this could be something that you're going through or could have already went through. Let's grab one more too. I am ready for a breakthrough to success. I am always open to good news. Okay, why is emotions running high? Okay, emotions running high. One card for deck four. Thank you. Yeah, might be a new, it might be a good thing because there, this would be a relationship something may have happened you may meet someone very soon um and they could share a lot of your insight through relationships meaning you may learn the most things from relationships i'm feeling like harmony is a big deal so if you deal with a lot of brokenness or people who are, are not in harmony or discord or things are attracted to you in that sense it is because i do feel like you're here to bring uh, perfect harmony and utilization into the world unity everyone is one uh, there is no such thing as separation like these are the things that they're saying there's more there's more all right what does melchizedek have to say thank you what does he have to say thank you thank you lots of emotions here we have the page of cups so i do feel like lots of new things are getting ready to happen your spirit guides are saying right now these are the ones that i'm picking up again Odin and Melchizedek, Odin and Melchizedek. And this is that there would be a new relationship, something emotionally that is going to really, really bring a lot of excitement to you. And also a project or something that is going to spark your interest. Focusing less on the systematic things of the world and more of what really matters is what I'm hearing. 
escapist. Come home to yourself. Yeah. So recharging is definitely necessary. Your spirit guides are saying not focusing on the system or society standards of how you should look, how you should dress, where you should work, opinions of others, these type of things. I feel like your spirit guides want you to come home to yourself. And they also want you to clear, cancel and release. And also to let you know that you have angelic protection. So because of who you are, and because of what you're here to do, which is what I love about being a shaman or a priest or someone who's here to bring truth and love into the world and light into the world is that you are covered with angelic protection. So your guides are very serious about that. And how do you protect yourself? They literally, and I talk about this again in TPA, they literally see it as having a walkie talkie. And if you meet someone and your discernment, your instincts go off, it's then checking in, checking in, checking in. That discernment allows you protection because you will know when you meet that person, you will know that job, you will know something doesn't feel right before it happens. You may not know what it is, but that intuition, that gift that you have, Odin definitely encompasses. So your angelic protection comes from them, but also just from knowing that you have the ability to see in the dark is what they're saying. You're able to see like, okay, you guys might be fooled, but I can see clearly. All right, what else is here for angelic protection for deck four? Five of swords, yeah. So the biggest thing I'm seeing with your spirit guides is connecting with you. Sometimes you get too involved and invested in what you think, what you think, what you think more of intuition over thoughts because this would be internal conflict ten of cups i have all i wish for in my relationships seven of pentacles i trust my ideas and direction nine of ariel your dreams are fulfilled hard work leads to great success and love for beautiful things in life i'm feeling deck four your spirit guides are saying very heavily to to trust in the process of making more things happen in your life, more things happen financially in your life. Your gift that you have, though, it's not just like to say, oh, I have a cool gift, but this gift is going to lead you and guide you into better places for better opportunities with more helpful people in your life. It will guide you to where you need to be, even in your successes even in your endeavors, even in your projects, your intuition is guiding you. Mm, this doesn't look right, so you change it. That is intuition. It doesn't look right. You just know when something isn't in harmony. So, so what they're saying is constantly focusing on that alignment. When you're in alignment with source, universe, God, whatever you choose to call it, you things are just happening very quickly they're in perfect harmony things are going you're seeing numbers oh okay this is a cool day things are flowing very quickly so that energy you're able to create on a constant day-to-day -day basis this will also lead you to people who have good energy good energy good money good abundance good opportunities um, and more experiences in your life so i'm seem to say that as you carry the shaman within you have a psychic ability and it's not just to predict the future it's actually to guide you to fulfillment to guide you to freedom to allow perfect harmony to just sometimes know the right things to say to a, a family member could bring harmony and love so don't overlook the magic in it by assuming it has to be this great endeavor it's even on the simplest levels your angels and your spirit guides are guiding you to much more of a higher perspective when things happen. Knight of Michael, time to move quickly, choose logic over motion, sudden changes. So this is in the reverse. So now is not the time to move so quickly. In fact, sometimes being still, you're moving quicker because you're able to take the time to get the clarity to make the right decision versus someone who rushed it, made the wrong decision, and now they go back and they're like, okay, I know it's one because I took path two last time. But if you would have just stayed in your still moment, trusted in your intuition, and waited for the moment, you would know, okay, this was the path all along. So using it for day-to-day -day basis and circumstantial things, I, I believe that a lot of you have a gift of mediumship. 
connecting um, the ability intuitively. I see it very strongly here. Ten of Gabriel, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten the load. So that's the second time we have helpful people. So hopefully I'm helping you guys, but working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So uh, people pleasing that I talk about a lot in just being free from not having to care what people think is one of the ways to feel your most freest. So I do feel like the 10 of wands, things are definitely shifting in your life and ending. Um, what's the helpful people so prominent for spirit guides? Why is it helpful people? Okay, it's almost like one of your gifts and one of your expressions of love is giving. You love to give, you love to share with people, but it's like sharing it with the right people, I feel like is, could sometimes be disappointed is that you feel like these are the right people, but then this person may not be, or this person couldn't, or maybe you thought it was the right project. So that's also where it's, they're coming back to psychic ability and the mystic within you. So you're going to be really inspired by mystical things again, and spiritual insights, people with different philosophies about spirituality. So being very open. All right, so we have the eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional training or education. So some of you may have things you wanna do, whether it's writing a book or creating um, a poetry contest or a seminar, I don't know, I'm getting a lot. Um, retreats certain projects that are going to help other people. I feel like there is more education and training specifically for connecting with people. More people I'm seeing. You will learn more about people as you learn more about yourself. It kind of goes hand in hand. Wish wisely. And then the last spirit animal was the guardian. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love, awaken my intuition and guide me. Yeah. So this is exactly what it is. Your spirit guides desire to have that walkie talkie relationship that where you could just ask for help more. It's okay to ask for help more to guidance. You have clarity and insight into decisions that would be much easier if you communicated with your spirit guide. So working on allowing that openness with you know, other dimensions or whatever, you know, it is, it is what it is, but I'm feeling that your perspective of spirituality will be very unique to you. And that's also okay. As long as it's aligning with love and truth, it's aligning with source, the universe. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. So this is also having a balance of not just the mystical things and dreams, but also how we can manifest them. So not being stuck in dream mode and just thinking about the life we can live and what we can have and the family and all of these amazing things that I see that you guys want to share in this lifetime. Actually taking steps to them is going to materialize it so that you can actually enjoy it here on earth energy work so a lot of you are definitely connected to some type of healing ability it doesn't have to be a traditional healer you can have your own method of healing it could just simply be your laughter your smile certain things about you that bring a healing presence so life can be electrifying because it's very essence is energy your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Let's see what this is about. The Empress, I love it. So you definitely have an ability to heal. I'm also seeing that this is, some of you guys might get, be in with the vegan lifestyle, but also natural remedies, you know, where you can actually read the ingredients some of you may get into that that's another form of healing so i'm seeing so many different things here with definitely before you know there's always so many different energies i'm feeling that you may not even know you have this ability you may just come around people and they say i don't know i like being around you or maybe you don't like to be around people but i'm seeing that this ability that you do have allows you to better express yourself and you have a lot of great things coming ahead of you your hard work is paying off and your spirit guides are almost like a cheat sheet to fulfillment they have answers and higher perspective 
that we would never know and comprehend from our level of point of view. So if you guys chose deck number four, I'm hoping that this was able to guide and help you. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to head out into the next pick a card reading. Love and light to you all.